Guy and Andre Fantastic say their son Christopher is a troubled teen. We're told when he would get into fights at school and around Gilbert, they would discipline him. He would run away, police would bring him back, and the cycle would simply repeat. There's been issues that he's had where he's ran away from home. The police just bring him right home, you know, and eventually through that process, you know, he kind of learns that, oh, there's no punishment for anything. We're told it got to the point they asked Gilbert police to help them do something about it. We begged the Gilbert police, hey, can we punish him? Can we teach him a lesson with this? Can we please do something uh, that shows him that this is not okay? And they say no, you know, because he's a minor, their protocol is to just bring him back home. Earlier this month, Gilbert police arrested the now 18-year-old for allegedly violently attacking and robbing a teen boy outside and in and out in August of last year. While Fantastic was in custody, he was also arrested by Mesa police in connection to a fight involving 30 to 40 teens and young adults near Val Vista Drive and Southern Avenue. Mesa police said that incident happened in May of 2023, but it wasn't reported until this year. Fantastic's mom and stepdad said they had no idea he was involved in either case. Honestly, the police just knocked on the door one day, said they wanted to talk to him. He's a grown adult. You know, I sent him out here to talk to the police. Ten minutes later, Fantastic was being taken away and is now facing assault charges in both cases. These situations happened a long time ago. You know, this was back in August, back in September of last year. There were open cases on these. What happened was is the Gilbert police closed the book on them. And then once a kid finally died, then they turned around and said, OK, now we're going to reopen this. When truthfully, they should have addressed these matters back then. Andre says if Gilbert police or the schools held him accountable for his behavior and choices instead of just a slap on his wrist, then all this could have been prevented. So this is where he has to be if he's unfortunately getting in trouble. That doesn't remove our love and it doesn't remove our support. But at the same time, you do the crime, you do the time. Fantastic's mom says that she does not plan to bail him out of jail. And we did speak for about 20 minutes or so. So if you would like to watch the entire interview, we do have that up on azfamily.com. It's such an interesting interview. I think right. a lot of people will check out that raw interview that's on the website, Casey. Mm -hmm. So you did reach out to Gilbert Police. Did they yes. get back to you about this? Yeah, so in reference to Christopher Fantastic and just how the parents are saying that they wish that Gilbert Police would have helped. Now, they did tell me that state law gives uh, peace officers permission to arrest someone as long as they have probable cause. However, when it comes to juveniles, it does not take into account a parent's wishes. Arrests are solely based on the facts and the investigation. And we're also told that the department is not able to give us arrest records for minors. Um, but again, we do have that full interview with the parents of stepdad and mother. 20 minutes, you can watch that full on azfamily.com. Yeah, it's interesting because in a lot of types of these cases, the family members, especially the parents, right. you don't see them talking and being mm -hmm. forward about this. Yeah, they were very straightforward, very welcoming. When we just knocked on their door, they're mm -hmm. like, we'll speak with you. And kind of, again, saying like they still love him. And they they say that if he is found guilty, that he is still 18. So his life's not over. And they hope that if that's the case, he will learn from this mm -hmm. and improve his life. Interesting perspective. Casey, yeah. thanks again.